Good morning church, it's Pastor Steve Bell here and uh, I'm really looking forward to it opening the word of God with you this morning and this morning is my final devotion looking at some of the old hymns and this morning I want to look at that great hymn Be Thou My Vision. You see the words of Be Thou My Vision were written more than a thousand years ago and passed down from generation to generation, sung around the world, thought to have been written by Dallin Fargill in, in Ireland, perhaps as far back as the 16th century. And it goes like this, Be thou my vision, O Lord my heart, now be all else to me, save that thou art, thou my best, Fought by day and or by night, waking or sleeping, thy present, my light. Be thou my vision and thou my true word, I ever with thee and thou with me. Lord, thou my great father and I thy true son, thou in my dwelling place and I thee one. Riches I heed not nor vain empty praise, thou mine inheritance, now and always, thou and thou only, first in my heart. High King of heaven, my treasure thou art, high King of heaven, my victory won, may I reach heaven's joy, O bright heaven's sun, heart of my heart, whatever befall, still be my vision, O ruler of all. Heart of my own heart, whatever befall, still be my vision, O ruler of all. Wow, what a great hymn. And Fargal's uh, prayer was that God would be his vision. As he wrote these words, we, we understand something afresh about the the vision of God and God leading us that God's presence would be his light in the dark that nothing else would interfere by day or by night waking or sleeping and looking to God for vision for he alone would provide the wisdom and the true words let me ask us a question this morning what or who is leading us in our life today. You see, the, the hymn, Be Thou My Vision, is all about allowing God to lead and guide us, to be a light in a darkened world. John 14, verse 15 to 21 says this, If you love me, keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever the spirit of truth the word the world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him but you know him for he lives within you and will be in you i will not leave you orphans i will come to you and before long the world will not see me anymore but you will see me because i live in you because I live, uh, because I live, you also will live. On that day, you will realise that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me, and the one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love them, and show them myself, and show myself to them. Well, in those verses we find in John, we find Jesus, uh, we find Jesus, uh, Jesus uh, has sent the Holy Spirit to guide us. And those of who's, who love him and know him will also be guided by the Holy Spirit, but also know the power of the Holy Spirit in and f living in and through us. Today, the Spirit of God leads you. And where our vision may fail us, God's vision is clear today. The good news is that God is never far away. We just need to allow him to guide us. Today, I pray that you'll allow the Holy Spirit to guide you in all that you are doing. 
And I pray that as we have shared our time together, you will truly understand those words from that hymn, that God be my vision, be thou my vision today, Lord God, in your almighty name. Amen. I pray that this devotion has blessed you and you have a fantastic week. God bless you. Take care.